Hey, 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 it's Diego here with more trading card game action, this time against Juice. Uh, before going into the into the match itself, I will just show you the deck I use, which is based around Dark Duke Trio ability, which is Synho, which makes uh, the opponent flip a coin every time they want to retreat uh, their Pokémon, and if they got tail on that flip, uh, they get 20 damage before retreating. And that goes for every Dark Duke Trio in play, so yeah, I have 4 Dark Duke Trios that can stack up to up to 80 damage when they try to switch out. And yeah, just to complement that, I have some annoying Pokemon that will, uh, want, will make our opponent want to switch out, which are Bulbasaur, Oddish and Magmar, because Bulbasaur and Odish, just for one energy, can guarantee the poison with their attacks. And Magmar has a smoke screen that uh, makes the opponent flip a coin to attack unless they switch out. And it also has a smoke which has the possibility to poison the opponent. So yeah, the idea here is to use those basic, basic Pokémon to to poison the the opposing active Pokémon, and then with the Dark Ductures on the bench, uh, inflict damage if they try to switch out to get rid of of the poison. So yeah, that's pretty much the deck. Let's go with the match. All right, so here we go. Uh, we didn't get any basic Pokémon in our hand, but our opponent hasn't as well. <laughs> and as you're going to see here, that's going to happen twice. Pretty weird, uh, since we have a, a, a great bunch of basic Pokémon. But yeah, anyway, here we got our starting hand with two Bulbasaurs. I'm going to play one and just wait with the other, because maybe I can use it for computer search folder that we have in hand. So yeah, uh, our opponent is going to win the coin flip and go first. Uh, it's going to reveal an Electabuzz, so... Maybe a Haymaker deck or an Electric type deck. And yeah, right from the bat he's going to attach an energy, play the plus power and attack with the Thundershock that is going to paralyze our Bulbasaur. So I will have to play the other Bulbasaur on the bench because on the next turn they may be able to knock us out uh, if they add another energy to Electabuzz. So yeah, um, anyway I play that... Um, Bulbasaur on the bench and use uh, energy search to search for an energy to that Bulbasaur and at the same time check what I have in deck and yeah after that I'm going to use my computer search to get uh, a Diglett on the bench I need to get them as fast as possible to evolve on the next turn and I will keep my hand since I have a Dactrio on hand to evolve in the next turn and then use the Professor Oak to draw cards. So yeah, that's going to end my turn. Uh, he's going to reveal a Raichu, so yeah, this is an electric deck. Uh, he's going to start charging that uh, Raichu in the bench, so no knockout on this turn. But yeah, he got the paralysis again, so uh, this Bulbasaur that we have uh, in the active is going to be fodder. So yeah. Uh, now it's my turn again, I'm going to be able to evolve into Dark Trio and play Professor Oak to get uh, a new hand. And yeah, we got a, <laughs> a great deal of <laughs> trainer cards again. I'm going to play a Magmar on the bench and then play Energy Removal into Electabuzz. Maybe I should have gone into the into the Raichu now that I see, because Raichu needs more energy to attack. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to play another energy search, search for a fire energy for Magmar, and then play the challenge, which uh, challenges our opponent. If they don't accept the challenge, it works as a bill, but if they accept, we both can search for basic Pokémon in the deck and play them onto the bench, so... I'm going to take advantage of him uh, accepting the challenge and I'm going to be able to set up uh, some more Diglets into the bench and he also takes the opportunity to set up some Pikachus and a Boltorb and a Magnemite but yeah, probably he didn't know what was coming 
so yeah he accepted the challenge and that's going to be more beneficial for me because now I have more diglets set up to evolve. So then uh, I'm going to use the scoop up and retrieve that Bulbasaur that was damaged and send the other one that uh, has no damage counters and has the energy to go for the poison seed and finally yeah uh, get the, the poison status on that Electabuzz. So yeah, now it's our opponent's turn again, uh, they're going to play another energy into Electabuzz and just go with a Thundershock and <laughs> they get heads again, so another paralysis for a third time. Uh, <clears throat> luckily we got that scoop up on the previous turn, so we could start uh, racking up damage with a, with a poison. So yeah, anyway, um, after checking my discard pile and my hand, I'm going to play uh, another computer search and uh, search for another Dark, dark Duke trio. So now I have uh, two set up in, in the bench and I will be able to use Switch that was in my hand and go with Magmar so now I can do 10 damage and uh, on the next turn if they want to attack uh, they will need to flip a coin. So yeah, this is <laughs> getting annoying for them. They have to flip a coin to attack, they are getting damage from the poison but yeah, anyway, they are going to commit to that Electabuzz, play another energy, and uh, plus power, and yeah, it seems that it's all health for my opponents today, they got heads for the for the smoke screen uh, effect, and heads for the uh, thunder punch effect, so they are going to do 50 damage with that attack. But yeah, uh... Unfortunately, yeah, Magmar took a lot of damage, but now uh, with another small screen doing 10 damage and the damage from the poison between turns, we are going to take our first knockout. So yeah, that's our first prize, scoop up. So if they don't manage to to make a knockout here, we may recover this Magmar uh, with all the damage counters it had. But yeah, he's going to send the Raichu. And this Raichu needs 3 energy to attack to my Magmar because the other attack only affects Pokemon with water energy attached. So yeah, since he doesn't have the energy and no cards in hand, he's just going to play a defender and pass. So yeah, things are looking great for us because we are ahead on the, um, on the price trade. We are going to be able to use Scoop Up again, recover the Magmar. And on top of that, uh, our opponent has a zero card hand, so it's going to be really difficult to recover from that. So anyway, on this turn I'm going to play the Nightly Garbage Run to recover some energies and a Magmar into the deck, and then play the Professor Oak to get a new hand. Now we finally got a third Dark Trio, and yeah, things are looking great. Uh, I think here we are just going to... yeah play an energy removal, be more annoying with this Raichu, we will need to attach uh, two energies to attack now, and yeah, after searching for more energy and setting up uh, the Magmar that is now on the bench, fully healed, we are just going to, to attack with Bulbasaur again, and yeah, get the poison on this Raichu, and now it's their turn. Uh, by the way, I will take the opportunity to say, if you don't know my opponent's channel, uh, you should check it out, I will leave a link in the description. He's really awesome and if you like my content, you would love his. So yeah, anyway, uh, they passed their turn and nothing that they could do with that zero card hand. Now it's our turn again. I got a rainbow energy that I'm going to play into the Dark Duck Um we don't have any fighting energy in this deck, but we have 4 copies of uh, of Rainbow Energy that can work either for Bulbasaur, Odish, Magmar and even the Dactro, so yeah, I decided to play it on Dactro because we have the type advantage at, at, against his deck. So yeah, anyway, uh, they finally managed to do an attack and it <laughs> has an awesome animation. Uh, here I'm going to use the first aid to, to heal 10 damage, but that's not going to matter anyway because they are doing 30 damage and we are still on range of this <laughs> kick attack. Look at that animation. <laughs> and yeah, they are going to take their first knockout. We are 5-5 five five on prices now, but uh, after him getting this uh, poison damage on this turn, we have uh, the Magmar 
that yeah is ready to attack and take an our knockout for us so yeah second prize it's a fire energy that will be useful for the other magma that we have just set up and they're going to send uh, a Pikachu now which has agility which can be pretty broken if they get if they keep getting heads because that prevents damage and all other effects of attacks and that's uh, they are going to get heads again but yeah anyway uh, even though that attack is really good, this, this Pikachu has really low HP, so... Yeah, uh, once they, they get Tails on, on the agility, it's going to be really easy for us to, to take a knockout on, on him. But yeah, uh, here he attacked again with agility and got Tails finally, so... We will be able to go with Smog and flip a coin for... Poison and luckily we got heads, so this is going to turn into a one shot because 20 damage plus 10 from from the poison, it's getting the knockout on that low HP Pikachu. So they are now going to send out a Magnemite. Uh, this can take a knockout with a self destruct, but they are going to retreat, and here we are going to see the Dactrios shine because all the the sinkholes checks are going to go with tails so this magnamite is going to do 60 damage to himself when switching out and that's a knockout so yeah uh, we managed to get a, a prize card in our opponent's turn so that's great uh, now they're going to send electables and go with thundershock get ahead again so yeah uh, we, we are going to get paralyzed but we have the switching hand so and yeah we got another rainbow energy for for the dark, dark trio in in the bench so I think in this turn I'm going to play the switch and start attacking with yeah with the dark trio and yeah uh, we have the, the type advantage here so we are getting double damage uh, so it's 40 from this attack, so they are in range from another attack. And they're still suffering from that, uh, from their hand having almost no cards. They get a defender on, on the top deck and play it, so they still have zero cards in hand. And yeah, at least that defender will allow them to survive for another turn. But yeah, we have our bench fully set up with another Magmar, we have the the Dark Trio uh, doing a lot of damage to his electric Pokemon. He's got to get a potion, but yeah, since he doesn't have a defender and Electabuzz has the weakness to us, uh, we will be managed to, to take him out. So yeah, from now on, the, the match is getting really easy for us, thanks to the type advantage of Dark Trio against those electrics. So yeah, uh, we only have one prize left, and yeah, they are just going to play a Voltorb, but there's nothing that they can do. We also have a resistance with Dactyl to the electric type moves, so they won't be able to, ma uh, to, to damage us, and yeah, in this turn we are getting the final knockout and the final prize to take the game. So yeah, unfortunately the Dark Doctor only we, we only could see the, the effect of its ability once, but it was effective at least. So yeah, uh, we managed to, to pull the, the win with this strategy. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this, this match. And yeah, as always, uh, leave your feedback and we are seeing you next time. Peace.